and welcome to the Daily Digestion Channel. And in this video, I'm going to be doing an update. And it's um, 3 o'clock. I've been fasting all day. And um, I just wanted to talk about what I'm doing because, like, I haven't made a video like this in a very long time. And um, so I thought it was necessary that I explain what is going on. Okay, so um, I've been eating raw food exclusively, but I've not just been eating a raw food diet because I've been incorporating a lot of different regimens. I've been doing juice fasting. Um, I've been doing dry fasting. And um, I have been doing fruit fasting. Um, today, I'm on a grape, ju grape fast. I had grape juice for breakfast. A whole bottle of grape juice. One of those, I guess it was a pint. And it's Concord grape juice. I just drank it and um, I felt amazing. I went and worked out at the gym. Um, had a fantastic workout. Um, then I'm right now, after my workout, I'm eating some grapes. These are organic grapes because guys, there really is a difference. Um, and I know I've said this and I'm gonna say it again. I just saw a commercial on TV. Uh, it was a law firm uh, and they were trying to get people who had been exposed to glyphosate, which we know is one of the major pesticides that they're using and it has caused lymph Hodgkin's lymphoma and these people are uh, you know they they've been exposed and they have lympho Hodge, 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 Hodgkin's lymphoma and they are allowing these people to uh, you know sue the glyphosate people guys that's pretty serious you know, that's not, that's not just whistling Dixie. You know what I'm saying, guys? That's like banging a gong and getting it on and like, you know what I'm saying, guys? It's huge. So, there's people around and it makes me feel weird that I'm talking to myself in my car you know when people are getting in their car and they're looking at me like who's she talking to but so today I'm having grapes for my post-workout snack whatever you want to call it um then typically I would have liked to have had a green juice before this but and who, who knows I may just eat a small amount of grapes but chances are I'll probably pig out on these because they're so freaking good right now grapes are $1.99 a pound that is cheap y'all so you need to be doing your grapes but the grapes Guys, there's something about grapes. There's like studies that have been done on them. There's some type of uh, chemical in them that um, really is healthy and it cures disease and cancer. So, there's this guy, um, this Chinese guy, and he's done all this research on it with mice and he's literally taken grapes and put them in a bullet and blended them up and uh, 
you know, is getting all these great results. I don't know how Elsie's doing it, but I'll put a link down in the description box about it. It's pretty amazing. Um, there's a YouTube video on it. But, so, now for the last several nights, I have been binging out on a lot of fat. I've been eating huge amounts of, I've been eating one whole avocado every night, some flaxseed crackers that are just purely flaxseed, and, um, so I've been eating a lot of fat at night, but it's really been giving me satiation. I felt really good. It's like my body, I'm just really listening to my body now. Um, I feel like I've tried every single diet um, known to mankind. I mean, I've done it all. I've done raw till four, 80, 10, 10. I went and ate a bunch of meat and like did a bodybuilding diet um, about four five months ago six months ago and guys it just that didn't work I mean I got muscles but I clogged myself up in the process it wasn't very good uh, the one thing I figured out is when you eat meat you don't eat fruit because when you eat fruit it gives you gas with meat because what it is is it takes so long for the meat to digest so let's say like the next you ate a hamburger the day before it takes like hours and hours and hours for meat to digest like it literally does you can look it up it takes hours for a uh, dark meat to um, digest so you got all of this meat in your colon and in your intestines you know trying to make its way through and then you you eat fruit it gives you gas that's why most people that's why all of these carnivores are like the vegan diet is so stupid blah 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 it's because they can't eat plants because it gives them gas they're really, I think they're just jealous, personally. I mean, I know I was. When I was eating meat, I was like attacking the vegans. It's so stupid. It's like, who cares? Eat your meat and go on. Eat your fruit and go on. Just go on. You know what I'm saying, guys? Stupid. But anyway. Um, but you know, I will say this, I feel so much better and I feel so much better on a fruit based diet and that's what I've been on, I've been even as far as uh, fruit and the juices go, it's kind of like I mean, there for a while, I was just like, green juice, green juice, green juice. And now I'm just like, green juice is necessary. No doubt about it. Hands down, I got to have my green juice. But fruit is really, I have to say, if I had to pick one, it'd be a hard decision. Green juice over fruit. So that's like the bulk of my diet. Okay, sorry, people were coming around, but you know, the thing about it is, is I'll just be like super duper hungry, and I will like be like thinking, man, I could really eat something really heavy duty, you know, something big like a big sandwich or something crazy, and I'll eat grapes, and I will feel so satisfied and full. Um, so yesterday... <laughs> so
So I just want to say guys, um, so my diet is basically varied from day to day because I've been on all of these diets before and um, you know, so and then just recently I went on Dan McDonald's 30 day uh, raw food transformational program which really taught me a lot and so basically I feel like I'm learning about the different types of diet and how I'm really learning excuse me more about my body and what it will do with certain foods versus other foods and feeling amazing you know feeling amazing amazingly and getting um, you know having the energy and and so forth is is been and the sustaining energy um, is of course the challenge and I feel like with the fruit fasting you know it's like I do have this craving for sugar like I crave sugar I crave carbs I crave sugar like and I think some people's bodies are more like that like they crave the sugar and it's I mean it is just it is what it is some people desire the rice the potatoes you know they've got to have their carbs uh, my husband is like that he eats meat but he's got to have his carbs like and some people I know don't but I'm one of those people I'm so happy on fruit and if I don't get fruit, then I want ice cream. I want sugar. So, and the sugar wrecks my hormone system and my periods and so forth. Like, no joke. I had the worst period when I started eating ice cream and eating sugar on the raw food diet. So, there really is something to that. And the caffeine, I think, causes hormonal imbalances. Even though I was doing organic coffee, it doesn't matter, guys. For, to me, coffee is really toxic. Um, sugar is really toxic so um, that's it guys I will say though I've been basically raw now for the past three months three months four months it's been all summer I don't know um, and I can re relate with a mill and Nicole's video like I'm probably 98% raw whatever I mean there's probably some things that I don't eat that might be raw not raw you know, like frozen bananas technically aren't raw. Honey's not raw. Stuff like that. But, predominantly, I'm raw, you know? And, like, my skin was the first thing that I noticed that changed rapidly on the raw food diet when I was eating the meat I had this dry skin it was itchy dry just I don't know it was dry my face was dry I was like man I'm getting old I felt so old on the cooked food and the meat and and then I got these eye infections that was the the real thing and my eye always felt like I had something in it and this one this one got it the worst like there's still a knot some type of knot up here I don't know if it's scar tissue or what from that crazy eye infection I got like 
that was not normal. And I thought it was styes, but it wasn't. It was something else. Some type of, I think it was from my body being sensitive to those toxins that were building up in mucus. It was mucusy, like my eyes were draining. I had like smut in them all the time. I've got pictures of it. If you want me to do a video on my eye infections, I have pictures of it and I will go into detail. That was when I started eating meat. I'll do a video on it. If you want to want me to do that, leave a, a um, comment down below. But yeah. So that's I feel so much better. My skin is so much better on the raw food. And yeah, I'm starting to look a little scrawny. I don't really have my big old muscles like I had, but I'm still strong. Actually, I'm stronger. I mean, I have energy now. I'm like, Ugh. I open up jars. And I don't really have the breast muscles like I have. But... I can get on that step machine and wear it out for a lot longer and not get out of breath now. I mean, there's things that are kind of weird. It's like I don't look strong, but I am strong. And like cuts and stuff heal up really fast. I had this weird eruption come out on my skin and I know it was toxins and it healed up. Like I was amazed. I was like, what? It, the way it healed up blew my mind it's truly and it's probably from all the fruit that I eat with all the vitamin C let me turn this down somebody's Well guys, I guess I'm going to go ahead and close on this video. It's just turning into a rambling session. Um, if you have any questions, leave them down below. Um, and I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe, like, share. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. See you later. So, okay, long story short, I kind of dropped the ball on that one. But what I wanted to say was, so basically, like, retrospect in a week, like, you know, for a couple of days, I may do one meal a day of all raw food. Um, just because I feel like my body doesn't need that much food. Um, and then other days, I may, like get up in the morning and be like really hungry and be like you know what I need something to eat and I might drink some grape juice and then I might uh, have some grapes and then I might uh, have like a bunch of dates later you know just throughout the day um, and then there's some days where I may get up and not drink anything nothing like no water nothing and do a dry fast till two o'clock you know completely no juice no water so like i'm really kind of like i'm drinking less and less water that's something that's kind of been interesting is i really after doing the dry fasting i've realized and eating a lot of fruit i don't even need hardly any water and if i do feel thirsty or whatever i'll drink juice um, or, you know, something like that, like, or eat more fruit, like melons, but, um, you know, as long as the grapes are coming in and so forth, I'm going to be pretty happy. I'm pretty stoked about these dates that I found. Um, they're not organic, USDA organic, but they don't have any pesticides 
or herbicides. Um, and on the package it says no pesticides, blah, blah, blah. So I emailed the company and I was like, are these grapes, you know, good? Um, but are they, you know, do they really not have any chemicals or uh, fertilizer, pesticides? And they were like, no, there's nothing. These are completely natural. We don't have to spray anything on them at all. And I was just like, wow. And they digest amazingly. They're super juicy. They're the best dates I've ever, ever had. Um, they're like real soft and gooey. Like after having a date like that, I'll never buy the dried wrinkly ones ever again. And now, I know how to tell a date out from not good dates. Um, if they have a lot of wrinkles in them, it means they're not good. If they have a few wrinkles and they're kind of shiny, that means they're good. That means they're plump and they're they're soft. And I'm wanting a, I'm wanting one now. I mean, there's something about a date. Grapes are good, but dates are good too. And they really fill you up and satisfy you like no joke. And a crazy thing about dates is they're actually high in iron, which that's kind of like weird. Who knew, you know, that dates were high in iron? It's even recommended for women um, who have, uh, you know, anemia or whatever, but my periods have been finally fixed now and it's because of I'm not eating sugar I'm not eating meat and I feel so much better like that's a big deal to me like my periods were killing me they were draining me for years and I finally feel like I figured out the magic uh, the bullet and it, it is no sugar no uh, no bad foods, no cooked foods. Like, I just eat really 100% natural, raw. No ice cream. I don't cheat at all now. Not after I had that really bad episode. Like, literally, I almost died. Like, no joke. Like, I literally felt like I was on my deathbed. And, like, I literally had this vision of my grandma, like, standing in this, like, long corridor somewhere and she was like waving at me like you know I felt like grandma I'm coming up to see you type thing it was just yeah I, after that experience I was like God you know really set the pavement for me to really stick to it this time and every time I just I think of ice cream or any of those type of things I just totally think about that experience and how I don't want to go down that road again. And now that I know that there's a direct correlation between my heavy periods and, um, and the sugar, like, and it was all over the, the memo, you know what I'm saying? Like all, if you look, if you Google and you look up heavy periods, blah, 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 one of the things that they talk about is um, don't eat sugar. Don't eat processed sugar. Well, that kind of like went in one ear and fell out of the other since sugar is so freaking addictive. I mean, who are we kidding? Okay, well, it's time to get off the phone. Almost bit the end of uh, a service utility truck here. So, okay, we done now.